Hi there, I'm Kelly from the marketing team. I'm Nemanja from the engineering team. We're here at Owl Labs HQ to share some exciting new improvements and features with software version 6.5. In this release, we built out a few of our most popular features, added more individualized control over care devices, and enhanced our core tracking software for overall better performance. For more information on these improvements and features or how to update your devices, check out the caption in this video. With that, let's talk about what's new in software version 6.5. Ignore Zone is one of the camera controls available in the Meeting Owl app that you can set for a single meeting, or you can set it so that it lasts through all of your meetings with the owl until you decide to change it back. The Ignore Zone feature allows you to specify an area on the owl's video that you don't want highlighted on screen during your meeting. While an Ignore Zone is set, the owl will ignore any audio or visual cues coming from that part of the room that the Ignore Zone is set on, ensuring that it stays off screen during your meeting. This is especially helpful in preventing any unnecessary distractions from popping up on your video mid-meeting, like monitors, TVs, photographs, the doorway to a noisy hallway, or anything else in your room that you prefer not be highlighted during your meeting. Since we first rolled out the Ignore Zone feature, it was always limited to a single Ignore Zone, even with paired devices. Unfortunately, this sometimes meant that the area of the room that was in the ignore zone got shown on the OWL's video anyway, because it was still in view of the secondary device's camera. With the release of our 6.5 software, I'm excited to share that you can now set one individual ignore zone per device, including paired devices. This means that with paired OWLs, you can set an individual ignore zone on both devices, giving you full coverage of the selected area from all angles. The image settings feature allows you to manually adjust the light and color of the OWL's video output from the Meeting OWL app. Within the OWL's image settings, you can customize the exposure, contrast, saturation, sharpness, and temperature of its video. Previously, paired OWLs used to share it in the image settings. The secondary device would adopt whichever settings were applied to the primary device in the pair. With our new 6.5 software, however, you can adjust the image settings of individual devices whether they're paired or not. This is especially good news for those with paired owls in rooms with uneven lighting, like if one side of the room has more shadow versus natural light, or if one side of the room has a large bright screen. We're also excited to announce with 6.5 software, image settings are now available for the owl bar. So whether you're using an owl bar, a meeting owl, or both, you can now set custom image settings tailored to each individual camera. The OWL's default audio settings should work best in most office environments. However, we offer you the ability to customize the audio settings in the Meeting OWL app should you need to optimize anything for your setup. Our audio settings allow you to adjust the OWL's noise reduction, double talk, and now even more. For starters, with the release of 6.5, we added the ability to adjust the OWL's microphone input level. We've also added control over the balance of speaker volume between paired devices. Sometimes, depending on where you're sitting in the room with paired devices, it can sound like the speaker volume between the two is uneven, even when it's perfectly balanced. Now you can manually adjust the balance of speaker volume between these two devices, however works best for your setup. You can choose to play audio out of only one device or the other, or maybe shift volume higher if there's more people sitting on one side of the room whatever you prefer. The OWL intelligence system uses AI, leveraging sound and motion from people in the room to intelligently highlight active meeting participants on screen during a meeting. In its default mode, the OWL intelligence system learns where people are located in the room to improve its performance throughout the meeting. This means that movement around the room can cause a few second delay in highlighting someone on screen. Like if a new person sits at the table or someone gets up and moves to another location. Because of this, our default OWL intelligence system behavior is best for sit-down, discussion-based meetings. If you like the OWL to continuously track your movement around the room, you can switch from the default mode to Presenter Enhance. Presenter Enhance uses the same intelligence software to identify a single speaker instead of switching between people seated around the table. In this mode, the OWL will follow the main presenter as they speak and move around the room, highlighting them on screen the entire time. Whether you're looking for constant tracking or our traditional speaker switching, we've made significant tracking improvements for all modes of the OWL intelligence system in our 6.5 software release. This means you'll see faster speaker switching, smarter zooming and framing, and smoother movement tracking. Thanks for tuning in. 
As a reminder, you can find more helpful information in the caption of this video, including how to update your software, more information about these features, and how to contact us if you have any questions or issues. Chat with us on owllabs.com or send an email to hello at owllabs.com and we're happy to help. Thank <laughs> you.